It's the Bicentennial coin, $1 coin from 1988. It's a cool design. However, they made a lot of them. 21.6 million of those coins were produced. Oof, a lot of them, but um, any coin in good condition is worth holding on to. Let me see if I can find it. I think there's a couple of them in this bag, actually, but here's the design right here. Indigenous design with a kangaroo. Um, I'm not sure if it's a story time um, and what the significance is, but that is cool. It's a bicentennial coin, 1988. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Let's search through this lot of coins. Get a little bag into position, and we'll check them for errors and all the good stuff. See if there's any good low mintage dates to hold on to as well. Whoops, 2005. It's a bit of a lower mintage year, this one, the 2005. So just check the list there. So $2.10 to $13, 5.8 million of them minted, but only really in good condition. So I tend to hold on to them personally myself if they're in good condition. These 2015s can have a missing leg on that third kangaroo down. So this little leg at the back, in the background here, sometimes it's totally missing. And if you can find one of those, $2 to $14 is a recent selling price range. So there you go, 95. Yeah, I think we've got another bicentennial in pretty good condition. So maybe I might hold on to that coming up. We'll see if we can spot that one. 2009, checking for little blobs of metal, backpack, spew roo, rabbit ears, all the good stuff. Pretty good condition, that 2016. There it is there. That's the one that was in nice and shiny condition, 1988. I might put that aside. It's got, it still does have a fair few scrapes and dings, but in better condition than the other one. Let's have a look here. Yeah. All right, put them both aside. Ooh, 2014. If it's a 2014 coin and it's got the kangaroos design like that, uh, this one's got the Anzac design. They made a lot of the Anzacs, but if it's got the kangaroos design in 2014, only one million of those coins were produced. So $3 to $200 is a recent selling price range on those. The $200 sale was probably a professional coin grading service. Graded coin at a high grade. Last coin, 1985. There you go. But uh, yes, the Bicentennial $1 coin.